internet. Uh, this is another pet game video. Um, pet game, I'll have a link in the description. It's a super simple template, make your own browser game thing in C Sharp. Um, I'm trying to do a bunch of little videos that just add little features that you can mix and match as you please for your game. Um, this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, one of the things that I still haven't put in the uh, documentation is how you actually would deploy your game uh, to the internet for other people to use. And before you can even do that, one of the limitations built into Pet Game, which I, I made for reasons which I'll talk about, um, you need to use a real database engine. Um, I don't know why I said which I'll talk about because I'm going to talk about it right now. <laughs> so, Pet Game out of the box uses SQLite. SQLite as a database just sticks a file on your hard drive called PetGameDB. Um, it is not necessarily super fast. It's, it's not intended for a ton of people to connect to. Uh, you're going to run into limitations. You're going to run into weird problems and bugs. It is not suitable for releasing into the wild. Uh, you need a real database. There are a lot of different options. Um, and depending on where you want to deploy, different options might make different sense. If you want to deploy to Azure, it might make a lot of sense to go with, with SQL. It's all, Azure is by Microsoft, so with SQL, they'd make it very easy to integrate. Um, MariaDB is also very popular. MySQL is very popular. Postgres is very popular. There's a bunch of them. Um, I'm going to show you in this video how to set up MySQL. Um, it's kind of the same uh, the instructions regardless of what uh, you download. Um, the, the, how you do it in code is going to be a little bit different, um, but you should really be able, once you see this, if you want a different database, I might really recommend Postgres, and maybe I should have just done this video in Postgres, but I'm going to do MySQL because I have the most experience with it. Um, but if you wanted that, there's just a different package you get. You can Google, just say, how do I do my favorite database in Entity Framework? Um, Entity Framework is what Pet game is using under the hood to do all of its database work. That's where this like add DB context factory thing comes from. It comes from Entity Framework. And you may have noticed that we're looking at this comment. It's up to you to set up and configure a real database. So let's set up MySQL. Um, again, it's what I know. If you've done PHP development, you've certainly used it. Um, what you want to get is MySQL Community Edition. It's free. I'm just going to go straight to downloads. Uh, is this because I'm on like super... Oh, here we go. I just clicked a funny thing. Here we go. All right. I want the version for Windows. That sounds right. Um, download and go. Is this right? Yep, 803. Yep, yep, yep. That looks right. Okay. So here's you would go and download. Uh, I've already got it, so I'm not going to download it. Um, I actually have like two databases running on my machine because I'm a crazy web developer and I have too many things installed on my machine. <laughs> Once you've installed that, you go through next, 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 next. Uh, the most important thing they're going to ask you for is a password for your database. Um, something I will say, and, and I'm going to prove it by showing you, uh, the password you choose really doesn't matter. It's running on your local machine. It's not exposed to the internet. You can really pick anything or nothing. Um, and again, I'm going to prove that because I'm going to show you my database and my password, and it really doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll show you. So this is Heidi SQL. If you don't have something for browsing databases, Heidi SQL is pretty good. It can uh, use a lot of different types of databases, including Postgres including MySQL and MariaDB and Microsoft SQL can do all these things, and SQLite. Um, so I, and, and not a lot of things do browse SQLite out of the box that I've found. So I, I kind of recommend this especially for using um, Pet Game, but it will also let you browse tons of other SQLish databases. So it's a good one. Um, so once you have installed SQL, uh, MySQL, you will come in here, you'd say, I want a new thing. Call it my local database if you want. I'll just go, go through the motions. I already have it, but, oh, Heidi SQL has crashed on me. It was doing that in another video, and then it wasn't doing it for another video. Maybe I shouldn't recommend Heidi SQL so strongly. It seems to be a little interesting sometimes. Um, and you would say, yes, I want a MySQL database. You would type in your root, uh, your, your password, which is probably root when you do the first setup. Uh, you type in your password, and that should be it. I'm going to do something funny. Again, I have a lot of databases installed on my computer, so they have different port numbers. So mine is 4406. Yours is going to be 3306 if you use the default install for MySQL. That's what it's going to be. Let's connect. Oh, sure, I'll save the changes. All right. Again, I already have this database. It's got some stuff populated in it. There's apparently a test database, um, Fifth Ages of the Browser Game that I was running for a little while. So this is my local development database. Uh, but there's no pet game in here. 
And that's what we want. We want pet game to be running on this database uh, and not on SQLite. So let's stop this. And here's where things change a little bit depending on the database you use. Uh, if you are using MySQL, and sorry, I should go through what I'm doing. So right clicked on my project and said, I want to manage the NuGet packages. We need, and this is how you get third party libraries for all kinds of things. You've heard me, depending if you've watched other videos, talk about like blazor.modal, that's something that's installed here. Um, and the framework just now, that's something that's installed. These are all third party libraries by different people. And the framework is by Microsoft, uh, Blazor, this is by a guy who does a bunch of Blazor stuff. Here's all the packages. Um, and you can see here we have one for by Microsoft for reading from SQLite databases. We don't want that anymore. Let's uninstall that, remove. And if you're using a different IDE, you will have a slightly different uh, interface for this. I, I'm, I actually kind of prefer Visual Studios. I think VS Code doesn't have a NuGet interface out of the box. You might have to find a, a, a plugin for them. They should have, uh, I don't know where their extensions are, but you can find it. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> the thing to get for MySQL is by Pomelo. It is not by Microsoft. Pomelo Entity Framework MySQL. We will install that. Okay, and since we have uninstalled SQLite, you may have noticed this text has gone red. It says, I don't know how to use SQLite. You've removed that from me. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to use MySQL instead, which is down here. Um, and this string needs to be a little bit different. Um, I forget off the top of my head. I'm going to hope, I'm going to cheat and hope that um, GitHub Copilot knows. <laughs> my little AI companion plugin. I don't know. It looks like it's thinking awfully hard. Um, let's say connect to MySQL database. This is really, I mean, right? I could Google this or I could just ask the freaking AI. Um, let's see if it'll figure it out. I think maybe the, there we go. Get connection string. Yeah, that's a reasonable way to do it. That's not actually what I'm doing. Um, okay, let's do, we need a connection string. What I'm looking for, you have to say, what is the server? It's localhost. Here we go. This is what I wanted. Um, what is the port number? Blah, 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 blah. This is all the information you need to give. And it has to be in this silly format with semicolons and just the right places and all this stuff. Port 3306. Uh, database, you can call that whatever you want. I'm going to call it pet game. Uh, user's root. My password for my local database happens to be boar with two exclamation marks because that's secure, question mark, um, for the thing that doesn't even need to be secure. You could honestly go for a blank password for your local database. Um, then we do this, and then we do the thing that it just suggested. I'm glad it suggested that too. So when you use MySQL, it needs two things. It needs to know the connection string, but it also needs to know the exact server version. Uh, now, you could either go and look that up in here somewhere. I think there's probably a query you can do to pull that out. There must be, or maybe even Heidi would tell you, but it might be different. You, you could look that up here, but when you go to deploy um, this to, say, again, Azure or AWS, or Google Cloud Platform. I don't know who uses that. But anyway, it would probably be a different version. Uh, you would really like to know in advance your... So when you're developing um, and you're going to deploy this to a, a database somewhere else, you would really like to be working on the exact same version of the database locally because you can run into problems if you don't. There are subtle differences between the versions, right? Makes sense. So if you're using uh, MySQL version 8 was what we downloaded, 8.023 or whatever, but maybe 8.1 comes out and, and that's what you, they're going to give to you on, on AWS or something. That version difference can cause problems. Um, so it is good to be mindful of the versions. That's something you're going to have to kind of figure out on your own what is time to deploy. But for running locally right now, let's not worry about it too much. And we're just going to say, whatever you got locally, use the version. Um, and this should be it. Uh, Thinking, yes, I think that's correct. I think that's it because of some other code that's that's in pet game. In other situations, there'd be a little more work to do, but I honestly think that's going to be it. Okay, it is. So you, you'll you see now when I started up that it did a bunch more work. So this is, and I can show you why it did that work. This is what I was pausing and thinking. Um, so it migrated the database. This is a brand new database. It doesn't have all the tables. Um, and if you followed along on other videos where I have added new tables, You'll recall that we have to do some extra work to make migrations that tell it how to add that new table. Um, I have added this in pet game. Questionable whether this should be in production when you go to like by production. I mean, when you launch this to, to a real web web server that, that can be accessed by the internet, you might not want this line. 
Um, but for local development, it's very easy for the reason we just saw. We can switch databases all we want, and it instantly says, okay, I'm going to migrate. I'm going to get that database up to date. And if we come here now and press F5, or maybe refresh. Ooh, did I actually, hold on, refresh. Maybe it, it is, oh, because I'd said 3306, didn't I? I didn't say 4406, so it's like my other local database. Um, sorry, well, good, let's prove the point. So it updated a different database of mine. <laughs> let's do for me, again, for you, it's going to be 3306. For me, it's 4406. Um, there we go, now pet game is here. It's got the pets and players table with all the same stuff. Um, and I'm going to have to make a new account, so I'll do that. And we'll prove that my account is still working. All right, the database is still working. Ooh, is it not working? Did we run into some fun problems? Let's see what the fun problem is. Um, in a previous video, I, I kind of chastised myself for uh, field ID doesn't have a default value. Okay, so what we're running into, and this is good, um, so let's go over this. What we're running into is the exact thing I was talking about, aversion differences. So I have switched from using SQLite, which is a totally different database, to MySQL. They're both, they both got SQL in the name, but they are different. These migrations that created my SQLite database aren't going to work for a MySQL database. Um, there's Because there's subtle differences. Uh, this one isn't so subtle. This one, it didn't know how to set up a default value for ID. So here's what we have to do, and this is good to know about. Um, we're going to delete all this. Bam, get out of here. And we're going to make new migrations from scratch. There are ways, by the way, if you do want to connect to multiple databases and kind of go between them and, and, and have your migrations for both database versions or totally different database engines. Um, like suppose you have a Postgres database for when you deploy, but locally you're going to use MySQL for whatever reason. Or SQLite, maybe you're happy to keep using that locally. Uh, there are ways that you can generate um, migrations for, for both and have both of them in parallel. I'm going to leave that up to you to, to, to Google, uh, but that's something you can do, just so you know. Um, I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to make brand new migrations. So, sorry, that went somewhat funny. So, we're going to go into the pet game folder, and then is migrations add create database. That's just, you can call this whatever you want. I'm just calling it create database because this is my first migration to create the database. And call it create database. Choose whatever name you want. Oh! Uh, another little tip, <laughs> if while the, while the program is running, it can't uh, build in migrations, you'll get an error. It'll be like, I was, and the error might look confusing. So if you get a weird error when you try to either make a new migration to put these migrations in here for, or to run them, it might be because you have the game running, so you just need to stop it. So now we have a new migration. This one is going to work for MySQL. It's actually MySQL, not SQLite. Uh, so now I should be able to run this and work. Cool. Again, I'm glad I ran into this. So in a previous video, I was like, oh, I kind of debugged an issue, but I uh, didn't talk about it. I really shouldn't have done that. Um, I should really go through fixing these weird problems because this is real programming stuff that, again, that happens. So here's another fun thing. I made this new migration. Uh, it doesn't realize that this database already exists, right? The migration has already kind of run. So I need to delete this. And delete the old database. Rerun it. Now, this will work. Neat. Oh, I don't have an account. All right. So that's some of the fun you can expect when you uh, change databases. Uh, and, you know, implicit in all that, I didn't call out expl you know, uh, explicitly, uh, you're losing all your data, right? We switched databases, a whole new database. Anything that you had in your SQLite database, you've lost it if, you, if you're switching. Um, you know, again, if, if this was like a live website out in the real world and you needed to move for whatever reason from one database to another, that's a lot of work. <laughs> You're going to figure that out yourself. Um, so, and even for your local programming, it, I hope you saw this video earlier rather than later. It might be good to do this switch soon, just so you don't lose all your data locally. Because now I have to make a new account and you probably had things set up to test and, you know, it's, it's a little cumbersome uh, to have to switch databases like this. Uh, but I, I mean, there, there's not really a way around that. Um, so there you go. Good. We've uh, we've switched over to MySQL. It'll perform a little better, even for local development. I, I, you'll every now and again, SQLite seems to like kind of just give up. I don't know. Um, so it's but but then the reason I chose it, which I kind of said I was going to allude to, or I alluded to earlier. The reason I chose it is it's really easy to get going with pet game when all you have to do is click play and you don't have to worry about like oh don't forget to download my sequel and go through their whole long install process and choose a password and remember the password and come into this code and put the password in and write all that stuff 
I didn't want to have to make people who fresh, you know, downloaded pet game, maybe don't even know that much about coding. I didn't want to subject them to installing MySQL and doing all that stuff. So SQLite was like super easy option for me. Just be like, press play, go. You're, you're, you're working on pet game. Um, but yeah, switching over to a real database engine is, is a good idea to do probably sooner rather than later. Um, and, and certainly before you deploy uh, to the internet for tens or hundreds, or maybe if you make a wonderful runaway game, thousands or tens of thousands of people, uh, you're not going to do that on SQLite. <laughs> so, so switch over to, to something else. Um, and again, if you prefer, I, I really think you, you should probably go with Postgres. It is a little more popular. Um, or, or even SQL Server. If you're going Azure, you might as well do SQL Server. Um, SQL is powerful too. Um, and that just changes what you need to, what, what the new Git package is that you get. Um, and here in program, what exactly you have to do here. For MySQL, you do this silly stuff with server version auto detect. Um, with, with other things you know, like SQLite, you didn't have to do that. With SQL Server, you don't have to do that. I don't know about other engines, but they're all going to be a little bit different in how you configure here. Um, and the best thing to do is just Google. I want to use Postgres with Entity Framework, or I want to use SQL Server with Entity Framework. What do I do? And you will find instructions. Um, you'll find the NuGet package, and they'll probably tell you how to set it all up. Uh, and this is where to come in and, and set those settings. So uh, there you go. Hope this was useful. Um, if you'd like to see other ways you might change the pet game to add breeding or items or, or other things like that, uh, you can check out one of my other videos. Uh, thank you very much, and goodbye.